Good morning, and welcome to Radio Friends. I want to introduce you to uh, a, a new guest on our show, Dr. Smirta Dore Rajan. Good to have you here, Doctor. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank did you. I, did I pronounce that name properly? Oh, yeah, properly? you got it down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And uh, you are a kidney doctor. Yes. Which is called what? A nephrologist. A nephrologist. You practice at the VA Hospital here in Columbia, but you have affiliation also with uh, University Hospital. That's correct. You wanted to talk today about how to prevent damage to our kidneys. And many times we do that uh, on a regular basis, not even realizing it, right? That's correct. Yeah, even a small thing like dehydration can get your kidneys because the kidney is like very sensitive to volume. So we always need to hydrate well and um, any medication too. Let's talk about hydration first. Yes. How many, you, you always hear we need to drink at least eight glasses of water a day. Yes. Is that true? That's correct. Unless you have heart trouble or other issues where you need to restrict your water intake. But for a normal person, you need to drink at least eight glasses of water. And it also depends on the activity you're doing. Like if you're a sports person and you jog or play tennis, then you need to replace all that you're losing through your sweat also. So drink more water. Yes. Uh, is there a way to know whether you're actually getting enough water or not? So the thirst is a very good mechanism to go by. So just follow your normal thirst mechanism and that'll tell you how much to drink. So if you're thirsty, drink. But what if you're not thirsty? Can you, and you don't, uh, sometimes if, if you don't drink enough water and you're not thirsty, you still could be doing damage to your kidneys, right? The color of the urine is the other that thing. That was what I was going to ask yes. you. Yes. Now it's normal if when you get up in the morning for the urine to be darker, but it should be light should colored be, yeah, during yeah, the day. Yeah, it should be like very light colored. So any amount of yellow in it is means you're not drinking enough. So you need to like um, uh, increase your water intake depending okay. on the... So that's number one, drink enough water. Yes. The next thing is some of the over-counter, over-the-counter medications yes. that we take. So I want to highlight one particular group called non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, commonly called as NSAIDs. Is that, asp is that aspirin? Aspirin is in this group. So, but the other commonly used ones are like ibuprofen, Motrin, Advil, Aleve. These are like commonly used for like headaches, joint issues, and these can cause kidney trouble. People know that it can cause like gastritis and acidity, but not many people know that it can get your kidneys. Well, so the magnitude of this problem is there are like 70 million prescriptions annually of these medications and 30 billion over-the-counter purchases annually of this medication. 30 billion? 30 billion. Now, so, if you take, now you're, you're talking about this is Advil and what else, Advil? Ibuprofen, Motrin. Okay, if you take those more than a week? Mm -hmm. So 10 days is what is recommended, even by like Ibuprofen, the drug company, to like for pain control, but patients sometimes indefinitely stay on it and they like it, so they just continue taking for like months and years. And this can like really damage your kidneys. What about if you take aspirin all the time? Aspirin, when it's used for cardio protection, the 81 milligram or the 325 milligram, that's fine, that does not affect your kidneys. What, what, what's three, is that, is that an aspirin, one aspirin tablet? Yes, what, 81 milligram is called as baby aspirin, uh -huh. and 325 is the regular strength aspirin. When it's used in that dose on a daily basis, it doesn't affect so your What kidney. if you take two aspirin a day? Two is still fine, but anywhere, like some people take three to five for like headaches. Yeah. So at that time, it can affect your kidneys. If you take it over a long period of time. Yes. But if you took two aspirin a day mm -hmm. for a period of time, it's not going to affect your kidneys. I would say like nothing more than a week. So the week to 10 days is how much that you can take. Like anything if you're taking like two or more. So it's recommended only up to 10 days. After that, you need to be evaluated by your physician to see why you need so much medication for pain control and why you're needing it on a daily basis. Well, 
what does it do to your kidneys? Can it can it damage your kidneys? Yes. Do you not even know it? Yes, because unfortunately the kidneys, you don't have like anything like your urine color is going to change or there's going to be blood in the urine or something like that. It can only be like sometimes picked up by measuring the serum creatinine, which is a blood test. So some people don't even know that they're doing damage to their kidneys and they come in after several months of taking this medication and when you get the blood test, their kidney numbers are off and they're like so surprised and shocked because nobody ever told them about this. So what do you do for that? So uh, at times we ask them to quit all those NSAID group of medications. Will it, will it, go, back, will it go back to normal then? Some of them it does recover but if it has been ongoing damage for several months, then sometimes there's a point of no return. And what happens then? So then we have to just aim at like getting their diabetes, blood, blood pressure, and things like that under good control, staying well hydrated, and just hoping that it doesn't progress further. At that point, if they still quit, they can maintain the same kidney function they're having and not progress further. I had no idea. And I yes. guess most people don't realize how important that is. Yes, because they think it's available over the counter, so it must be harmless. So, And they get good pain relief. And some of them take it for like indications that it's not even supposed to be used for. I have patients telling me, it just helps me sleep better, doctor. So I just take like two at nighttime. And you say, uh -uh. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's no. not to be done, and it's not even an indication. Well, that now, why is the Tylenol? Is that a different? That's yes. a different. Tylenol is a different group of medication. Does it have any bad effects on you? So that's mainly excreted by the liver. So most of our kidney patients, we ask them to take Tylenol for pain control because it's like well tolerated in kidney patients. Can it? Uh, if you take too much Tylenol, can it affect your liver? Yes, it can. So there really is nothing, uh, the, any, any medication you take, there's yeah. always going to be side effects. Always side effects, And no yes. matter what it is, whatever you take, there's going to be side effects. Yes. So you've got to weigh what the, the side effects. The risk and benefit of yes. it. Like if it's minor ache, I wouldn't like take a bunch of ibuprofen for that. So if you can get by with Tylenol, then I would get by with Tylenol. And always like kind of reassess whether you really need that much of pain medication. Well, you got me thinking all kinds of stuff. Huh? Uh, <laughs> Thank yeah. you, doctor. Uh, uh, I appreciate you coming by. And uh, do come it, back and visit us once again. It was again. a pleasure being okay, here. Okay, my Thank pleasure you. too. Bye-bye.